do, 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 do. Live on the air with Super Chat. We've got Super Chat. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Now, actually, we have an in-depth correspondent. We have an in-depth report from our correspondent in the field, the Honorable Rudy Dobson. Now, let's start. I Also, I sent you, it's all an iMessage. Do you want me to resend it on the secret pontifical email, or can you pull it up yourself? I'm actually doing that now as we speak. Hey, well, hey, Max Levinson's on the super on the live stream comments. Max, that was an outstanding freaking uh, video on the Seamaster. Re major respect. I mean, that he is good. I mean, I would stick him up against anybody. How old is he? He's thirteen. Evening. He's actually yeah. okay, Don. I'm back. Oh, Happy New Year from Bucharest, Romania, says Lucian Dumutru. Donnie, is that Merc really that bad? Which one? Your mom's. Oh, they're all bad. They don't make good cars. Unless you get an AMG. It has to be an AMG for it What to happened work to your with. grandparents' Merc, that, that old 126 you were driving around in? It's in the garage. The air conditioning doesn't work. What happened to the air conditioning? It's old and it needs a new compressor. And for some reason, every time we take it to the dealership or the guy that wants to fix it, they just send it with a free on. It doesn't work. And then they charge us $350 and then it doesn't work. And then we go back and it doesn't work. And then we charge it with free on and it doesn't work. It's like, hello, it needs a new compressor. We've been down this road four times. But they don't you don't take it to the dealership, that car, do you? Why not? No, Why don't I you get a second? I Dude, I have a mechanic. He's good. He's master freaking Yoda with those old cars. He was a, a Mercedes-Benz master mechanic, and he was at a dealership for 18 years before he started his own shop. He is going to fix it next year properly. Okay, now, do you want me to go ahead and send you an email with those pictures on it or not? No, I've got, I've got it, Clyde. I've got it. They're just coming through now. Okay, I'm getting the high-res ones so that there'll be no problems with them, Clyde. So, firstly... Let's bring the first one up, Clive. When Donnie goes to sleep, he dreams about Mark Goldberg. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Here we go, Mark Clivey. Goldberg. Here you go. Okay, so. Just a so anyway, I I got a I got a phone call and a text from Rudy saying, "Hey, guess where I'm at?" I'm like, "Oh." So then I start. Then my phone starts lighting up, and I get several texts. He's like, "You're not going to believe this." Next picture. Yep, just one minute. So he is in the town. He's in the town of Chesterfield. Right, Chesterfield. Thurston Howell the Third is that who? I wonder if that's exactly. a good part of England. English people, is Chesterfield a nice part of England? Please let us. Here know we go. Here comments. we go. Next picture's up, Clive. <laughs> Archie, sorry. So. Yep, I love the look, there, baby. There we go, and and actually with a pierced heart. But I suspect if you look more carefully at the sign, it's going to be. Down, 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 okay. down, 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 down. Real quick, down, Ronnie down. Paul. Yes, Ronnie Paul. Just so we can get over this. Yes, I'm. I'm seriously. Yeah, I, I'm looking at a Cardi. I was looking at a Cardi Santos, and I will continue to monitor for one. <clears throat> so yes. Automatic movement. So, okay, not next picture. There you go. And yes, yes, indeed. Archie's oh, bar and kitchen with a pierced nice. heart. Yeah. We have to come up with a collection and buy this for Archie. Well, true. <laughs> then, then he would have a reason to go to the UK. All right. Anyway, now it gets even better. Archie, have you ever been to the United States? Nope. Would you ever want to come to the United States? Yes. How much will it cost us to bring you? you here? Ah, airfare and somewhere to stay. 
You want to stay with me at my parents' house? We we can probably arrange this. <laughs> sure, sure. You can drive me around in that W one two six with the busted air conditioning. No, we're, I have a Toyota or a, a Lexus or a Mercedes that's modern to drive you around in. Here we go, Clive. There's the picture. Nice. So Arch, and you can tell it's it's actually an Archie running it because. They don't bother opening until noon, Monday through Thursday. They manage somehow to get up at 9 o'clock on the weekends. So cool, isn't it? It it's is. Awesome. I, so. We should bring them during watch week. <laughs> and like set up a booth at all the boutiques. And you can sign autographs. And... Ready for the next picture when you are. Yep, yes. coming, coming, coming. It's got a buffet. Can you believe this? Oh, we love the buffet, baby. I wonder if the food's any good. Has anybody eaten there? Yeah, looks- actually, Rudy, I was hoping Rudy would come on and join us. AC, if you're ever in New York City, you can stay with me, no problem. Woody, New Yorker. So wow. anyway, it's a buffet. It's a buffet, and as Rudy, Rudy actually said, it has a Brazilian theme to it, so they bring meat to your table. Wow. Nice. That's cool. Looks so, good. yeah, actually it looks good. It's not like a buffet, and I was asking follow-up questions about it. I said, well, okay, it's Archie, so what else do we think, can think about in Archie? I said, by any chance do they have nasty vinyl seats? And sure enough, <laughs> nasty vinyl. It's radioactive antimatter. And Archie went to the bathroom right now. He's gone. Really? Okay. Oh, I'm here. I'm here, guys. I mean, it's a cool concept, but we need to keep it going. We need to come up with something cool to talk about. Like, aren't you coming to the U.S. and staying? Well, now, here's, here's, now, here is something else, guys. Now, this is audience participation. Can you think of anything, if you, can, if you want to super chat anything that you would hear or see at Archie's All-You-Can-Eat mm-hmm. Buffet restaurant in Chesterfield? Super chat. Pizza. There you go. This is going to write itself, guys. Did somebody just flush the toilet? No, that was a truck going by. I've got it's actually a bit warm in Oklahoma in for January, so I've got the window up. I figured Do it would be any... less noise in the air air conditioning. Dude, we are freezing here. It's like eleven degrees Fahrenheit outside. Alexa, what's the current temperature? In Yukon, it's fifty three degrees with clear skies. Fifty. You can look for cloudy skies. 53 a degrees. Low of 43 degrees. A low of 43. Ask Alexa, what's the temperature in Princeton, New Jersey? Alexa, what is the temperature in Princeton, New Jersey? Currently, in Princeton, New Jersey, it's 10 degrees with clear skies. Tonight, you can expect cold temperatures with a low of minus 3 degrees. Alexa. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alexa, is Don Haynes autistic? Sorry, I don't know that one. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> that, things that you would hear at Archie's All You Can Eat Restaurant. Super Chat by Clearly. Would you like a giant sausage? Okay, Archie, did you uh, show any pictures of the did you show any pictures of the nasty vinyl chairs? No, 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 no. The place looks very decent. I would go there. I think it looks gorgeous. Well, yeah, this. Of course, you'd go there until you need. <laughs> Whose Jeep is that? Or no, that's Don. That was my Jeep. Okay. That was my Wrangler. What happened to your Wrangler? Is- gone, baby. M. Hoff. Um, I give. Sold. I give five dollars to watch Archie explode. Okay, Imhoff, that is one of two things. You're thinking about an Archie Explode video, which has to be specifically about a particularly stupid watch question, or what Archie would have to be in the all-you-can-eat buffet. 
I'm going to make a phone Archie, call. Archie, do you feel like you? Okay. Archie, let's like let's 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 do a Archie explodes. What I'm going to do is I got somebody who wanted to buy my Brightling. I'm going to ring him and see if I can sell the thing. If you guys just listening quietly, okay? Okay. Okay. Listening quietly while he's trying to sell the brightly. <laughs> We're making a field call. Really, really quiet. We're hunting rabbits and what's collectors. <laughs> Are you hunting rabbit what's collectors? Answering. Okay, everyone's in some cringe position. <laughs> Pucker up the anus. Front. Good lord, that is the loudest chair known to mankind. Yeah, Dude, I'm gonna send him a text. Okay, so no one has anything that they'd like to super chat for what they don't what what they would overhear at Archie's All You Can Eat Restaurant. Clyde, this is turning into no. a disaster, Clyde. Clyde, it is right. actually. This is Clyde, turning into a fucking here. disaster. So I'm gonna I'm gonna step in as the alpha here, and we're gonna start talking about cool stuff like watches and, and like cooking and like things that matter and whiskeys and 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 women and beer. Okay. Okay, so, sure. So why not, Archie? Archie, yep. what's your favorite? What, what what kind of food do you like? Do you like Italian? What do you got over there in in like Peru land? Yeah, I love Italian food. I love, I, I, I do. I'm just allergic to canned food, but, but but that's the only thing I'm allergic to. And Mexican, I don't like. Mexican. Archie, okay, I understand. I Archie understand. does not like Mexicans. You heard it here. It's not Mexican it's not food cuisine. It's it, it, it's yeah, exactly. It's not haute culture. Well, I could teach you how to make spaghetti and meatballs from scratch, and meatballs from scratch. That sounds good, Don. Let's go. First thing you need to do is get San Marzano to canned tomatoes. Can, 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 can we start a restaurant together? Why don't we do that in New we'll York? We'll go and rent one. We'll go, and, we'll go and lease a big premises. Then we'll start our it's own restaurant. It's probably better to start it in Australia because you don't have the good Italian food like they have in New York. Um, you don't, all right, so you need to get San Marzano tomatoes. It's very important. You get two cans of that. You get a can of tomato paste. I thought we said we're not going to use paste. cans. Cans. Cans we don't like. Listen to me. This is how you make a tomato sauce. It's done everywhere. Universal. I'll try to ring this fucker so again you, too, okay? All right. So you, you basically put a little olive oil in, in the pot, and you put in the tomato paste first. You brown that lightly, probably for about, I don't know. Two or three minutes, and then uh, you put in a clove of garlic. Tomatoes. But before you do all that, you got to start making the meatballs. It's very important. You got to take about a three pounds of double ground eye round. You get an eye round. You take from from the grocery store. Get one from like the butcher or like a nicer high end grocery store. You get them to double grind it. That's where you get the meat from. It has to be good meat. The, the double grind or triple grind it's the best way to do it all right then you take just use a pound and a half you take a couple um you take a quarter of a cup of finely diced and finely chopped celery leaves and then you take about a half of a quarter of a cup an eighth of a cup of finely uh chopped basil leaves that's your veg you add an egg or two eggs. If you're in another country, you're probably going to need two eggs because you don't have the jumbo ones. You have a smaller, large, or extra large eggs. So you get two I eggs. See. Where did your family supposed to come on the program, man? Just, dude. You mix this all up with some salt and pepper. Okay? And this is the key ingredient. You need some Pecorino Romano cheese and only one clove of garlic that you smash in a garlic smasher. That's it. Not too much garlic. Problem with too much tomato, too much garlic is it overwhelms everything. It's about balance, okay? And then you you basically make the meatballs about the size of a golf ball, and you make them elliptical. You don't make them completely round, so they stay in the pan better. And you brown them on each side in the pan on medium heat. And that's it. You want them pink in the middle. 
basically you want them rare to medium rare temperature. That's it. Okay. Because they're going to cook in the sauce. Then we can do with the tomato paste. You basically cook that a little bit, and then you add the uh, the tomatoes, uh, canned tomatoes. And then what I like to do is I like to brown up a couple pork chops. Um, you can do it in the bone or out of bone. I recommend taking the ones, taking the bone off, even the bones add flavor. Um, they, what happens is the bones get in the sauce and they're pain in the ass to get out. So get take take the pork chops off the bone, just so you don't have to go uh, bone hunting. Okay, it's not fun going bone hunting. You brown them on each side, then you put them in the sauce. If you're Jewish like Mark Goldberg, don't use the uh, <laughs> don't use any pork. All right. So then you add that to the sauce, and then you add the meat. Mark Goldberg from ChicagoDogTrainer.com. I look forward to speaking with you about your dog. So please leave me a message with a little bit of detail. Sorry, one is not a valid right. entry. Record your message after the tone. Simply hang so up when done. Or for delivery options, press the pound sign. All right, so then after you're done doing that... You hey, Mark, it's Clyde. I'm still on the live stream. We started a new one. I sent you a link. Don Haynes is making lots and lots of references to bone hunting, and we seriously need you back on the channel. <laughs> and All right, so you take like a okay, thanks, of man. wine, like a Pinot Noir or a Cabernet Sauvignon. Or this like is dying, wine. Clive. Please Help me, wine. Clive. This has turned out to and be a fucking the wine to the a super chat disaster. Okay, send up. And then okay, you add number about one. Two teaspoons of sugar, and then about and about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to lower the acidity a little bit. You let it hang out for about five or six hours on the lowest heating you possibly have on your stove. Done. And that's how you make sauce. Okay. Now, Archie, you want to pull up the uh, couple of pictures at you? A pictures of what? Sorry. Well, there's a couple of pictures of Patek World Time. You have sent it to me or not? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, I thought I did. It was on iMessage. What are you, I'm wondering, what are your thoughts on the 5711? I like it. How hard is you? it to get? Well, considering the fact that in the U.S. there's between a three and eight year waiting list, and it's I don't think it's that cool. Years. Do you? It's expensive. I don't understand well, it. What is what is the fifty seven eleven? It's the Nautilus steel three hand, three hand classic. It's the most. It's the hardest watch to get in the U.S. Clive. It's it's like the holy grail of holy grail of holy grails. Okay. It doesn't well, even yeah. use the two forty movement, Donnie. It doesn't even use Pad X two forty movement, which is a much better yeah, movement. It, not really. The 321 movement is a better watch movement for a sports watch, okay? Because it's it's going to be more robust than the 240 whatever with the micro rotor, okay? And it's also running at 4 hertz instead of um, 3 hertz like that watch. It's a better There's, movement, you know, it's a little bit more robust. The 315 movement became the 324 movement, didn't it? Yeah, yes. Now, because like the one I had was actually three hertz, you know that. When I had my yes. Calatrava, it was still three hertz, you know that. Don't yeah, you? but what they did is they completely changed the escapement to four hertz, and they added a silicone balance wheel and a different and a Gyromax uh, balance spring, which is their silicone spring. And uh, the no, no, the Gyromax was a balance wheel, and the Spiromax balance spring, which is the silicone spring, and they upped the beat to four hertz. So the timing tolerance is now our negative three. All right, negative one plus three. The timing tolerances of yours, I don't know what the hell they were back then. Um, that's like ancient technology. I mean, that your movement okay. was originally designed in like the 80s for your color travel. <laughs> or probably even maybe the 70s. Now, also, I sent you pictures of a Rolex Precision. Did you happen to get that one? Ah, Jesus. I was so enthralled with Don's pasta recipe. I, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I think we're going to do better uh, talking about Paddock for Leaf 5711 movements. Uh, Actually, none of those pictures are that good, Donnie. They're just, that's still in a sealed plastic, Clivey. Clivey, not Donnie. Okay. Well, how about how about that the precision's uh, got a redial? It's a redial, and it's badly water damaged. I don't know if. Oh, I Mark, to... thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mark. Mark got it. Ah, Jesus, Clive, this was a disaster. You know that this is sinking fast, man. 
get this. Can you resuscitate this? This corpse is floating on the top. We got Donnie's well, Donnie's killing off my limited ratings at God. <laughs> help right. me, Clive! Take over, Clive! Take over. You're All supposed right. to be hosting no, it. Actually, Mark Mark will be joining us quickly. Why aren't there any fucking super chats? Why aren't there any fucking super chats? You lazy fucking sons of bitches! You lazy fucking. Wife. Get your fucking ass out there now! Get your fucking fucking super chat me now! Fucking hell! Okay, sending a picture of the Rolex. Send it to my email address, Clyde. Don't worry about sending it to the phone. No, I did. All right, Fucking Mark. I Ooh, hang on, that's the guy about the Brightling. Oh, Brightling guy. Brightling. Hello. Hello. Yes, g'day. You you were inquiring about the Super Ocean. Mister, the madman has us in the yeah, truck. So, uh, the what sort of the money were you, were you looking Call at? Call the police! Money? Call the police! Because, you know, I, I can't sell it at cost. I need to make a small earner out of it, you know? Call the police! Help us! Help us! You know, it's mint. You know that, don't you? It's mint. It's minty. It's clean. It's mint. It's still under warranty. You know, that's got one of those new electronic cards that go with it, you know? Cards. <laughs> it's got a card. So how, how would you pay? Let me ask you that. How would you want to pay for it if you said yes? When the blood of the ever-loving covenant. <laughs> yeah, I bank Commonwealth Bank. Oh, yes. Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you were serious about it. That's all, you know, because I get a lot of tire kickers. Okay, Mark. There, you know? Archie's trying to what? sell the Shetling. Wait, what's it's a great watch. watch. It's, it's a fantastic so, watch. It is absolutely. Don was making numerous references to bone hunting. It's fantastic watch. So, yeah. Um, Mark Goldberg. It's, it's a great it's a Super Ocean Heritage. It's a fantastic oh, watch. I, I swear to God. Hey Archie, cut the sound. How about th could cut we do three three fifty? He's broken that. He's three three fifty, and I'll send it by express post, signature on delivery. Can I send it by Ladyboy Express? Three three fifty. <laughs> when it absolutely, it positively, must be yep. fisted. I'll send you the bank details. I will fist it to you instantaneously. Yep, yep, that's great. <clears throat> no worries. Sounds great. Super chat. Bye, my. See shot. you later. Bye. Oh. Oh, sorry. I missed a super chat. Sorry about that, oh, guys. Yes. Hello, no, guys. You have to say you, chat by Bing Tinier. You didn't okay, hear so that conversation I had, did you? Yes, we did. Uh, we were trying to it ignore. Was it was fine. We we uh, ignored it. What did you think of that? Thirty-three fifty. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie dollars. Lucky. That's nice. You know what the problem is? That's I nice. Sell it. I, I told you not to buy it, and then the more video you made about it, the more I began to like it, and now I'm going to miss it. It wasn't even my watch. Hey, I'll let, I'll let you in on a secret. Do you want to hear a secret? Of course. Yeah. You like lady boys. Here's a secret. Okay. I flipped it because I've actually bought another one. Oh, dear God. Another what? Yeah, I bought another one. Another what? What have you bought? Super Ocean Heritage. Same mo what model? Yeah, different dial. Black. Different dial. dial different dial. dial. Black dial. Blue dial. Blue. Black Blue. dial. Black. Please tell me All you right. bought the forty-four millimeter this time instead of the. They, they only have forty-two or forty-six. Okay. Get the forty-six. You always get the bigger one. There's a reason why the long wheelbase Mercedes S class always sold better than the short wheelbase. You know, talking. Get the big one every fast. time. Talking fast is not the same as talking smart, Don. I just want to make sure you understand this. Yes, mate. Thank you. That's good. And I want to remind everybody that Don Haynes went to an Ivy League college. Uh, on, but, however, he played a lot of football, so the concussions and brain damage are not his fault. He's special, and we love him. I only had three concussions. He's special, oh, and we I love too. him. I had two He's concussions. Special. He's special. We love him, and there's a whole movie about his life. What's that movie called? You know that movie? Forrest Gump. Life is like a box of chocolates. 
We never know about, about the, the, about the football it. retards. Rudy? <laughs> no. The, the recent <laughs> movie about the recent Rudy, movie about all Rudy, the concussions Rudy. and the brain damage that it causes to these people. We don't have brain very, damage. Very hey, recently. Clive. Clive, I might yeah. just get you to take over for a little bit. For a little bit. I just got to take a small break, okay? All right. <laughs> well, okay. Look, I found Evidently... the sour catalog. Nice. See my sour catalog? <laughs> I wrote on it. <laughs> Look at my picture. How cool is that, everybody? I'm going to go somewhere. Sour. All right, can we talk about watches now instead of stupid things like shitters and Breitlings and Grand Seiko quartz? What are you? Thirty-seven. What? Are you, okay. A uh, super comb over man, ten dollars. Date just, no date sub. Brand date, Speedy Mark Forty. I think it's Speedy Mark Four. Fifty-one ninety-six G. El Primero Chrono. All right. His current out collection. Of out of this. He's asking me what. All right. That's a nice collection. Yeah. You're, you, where I would go is I would get a Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms next. Get something a little haughty. Matt Stevens. Don, Don that, Blanc Pond, that Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms, you're like that, like Archie is with the Explorer 2. You tell everybody, or, or the speedy man on the moon. That is your I'm about to start class, so collection. I'll have to catch up. Once it's posted. All right. There's a reason for that. You know why? Because the watch is freaking awesome. It has a triple barrel movement, 120 hour power reserve, and it's made by gods. It's a very pretty watch. And it's got the nicest looking hands I've ever seen. Yeah, do you own one? I'm going to. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't own one. But answer me um, this question. Answer me this question, Don Haynes. Do oh. you own a Steinhardt? Yes or no, please? Yes. I'm sorry, could I you please my... could the I'm sorry, could the witness please repeat that statement? I rest my case. It doesn't matter. I have a Steinhardt Ocean One premium edition model with a higher decorated movement that I had dynamically poised by our GM watches. You, you, and it your keeps Honor, pretty darn good time. Your Honor, I move to have the defendant immediately remanded to the state authorities for full anal and mental faculty testing. Why are you so into anal? I don't get you, dudes. Next, that is an next exit is only 50, hole. Your next move is not a 50 fathoms. It's clearly a squally. You are working your way down, sir. Actually, after I got the Steinhardt, I got my Jager LaCulture Reverso, so wouldn't that be on the way up? Oh, yeah, that I. <laughs> Check All me, right. bitch. <laughs> So, Mark, what do you think? What do you think of this collection? Date just, no date sub, grand date, speedy Mark IV, fifty-one ninety-six G. I think that's obviously it's Patek, and El Primo Chronomaster. Oh, um, okay. He, tell him to get a tell him to get a Blanc Pond fifty fathoms. I think he needs a Breitling. <laughs> I think I think he needs a Breitling Chronomat or a Super Ocean Steel Fish. That's what I think. You know why? It's a Why? little hot. Because there's too much good stuff in that collection. You need something that you can smack around and beat up. I think you need a Breitling. Something big, shiny. I think he needs a proper 50 Fathoms. Yeah, that's not, that. just so you know, that's not yours. Don, you know, I, people need to know this about you, Don. You're like a serial watch trier honor. You, you spend, <laughs> your hobby is annoying watch salesmen. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, no, it's it. It's actually a super chat question ask, asking for me. So it's Thank Clive, you. which watch do you like the more visually? The this one, one five nine two dash four one dash eleven dash zero two one seven, which Google tells me is an Eterna men's Contiki stainless four hands watch, or Archie's Brightling. Tell me why. Um yeah, that's, that's a watch. toughie. What? That's a Blanc Pond 50. Look at how beautiful blue with the guilloche dial. Oh. Okay. Was that like Halo? Was that like a Halo? 
Yes, it was the bright. No, no, no. Halo was. Anyway. Now, did you sing like that before you got neutered? I did. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the Eterna, and I'm just dealing with a photograph. But you know, actually, well, I'm trying to decide. I might actually kind of like the. I mean, just by the look of the dial, I might actually kind of like the Eterna. Um, I, I kind of like it's got the wide Rolex date wheel. So instead Can of I having interject the interject on movements here, the Eterna in uh, the new Eterna that has the bronze case has an in-house movement. The other ones are ETA based. So if you want an Eterna Contiki, whatever, make sure it is the bronze case to get the in-house movement. The limited edition. This one, this one has the automatic ETA caliber twenty-eight thirty-six dash two. Exactly, it's a piece of shit. Don't get that one. Get the in-house one. It's regulated in five positions and will keep COSC timekeeping. Did Next you question. know that my ball yes. launch, which has a 7750 in a chronograph, which is an ETA movement, is in a ball watch, and Wait. it is rated to 600 meters, and you can push the chronograph pushers underwater. It is rated for underwater chronograph pushing with a 7750. That's great. You know the problem with the 7750 movement, Mark Waldberg? Well, it's uh, there is no problem with it. It's cheap to service, and it's like having a... It's like having a party. It's like having a New Year's Eve party favor on your wrist at all times. The wobble is okay. actually turned. All right. The the problem with the with this Valjoux 7750 based movement is there's a gear lash problem. Meaning when the gears engage, they take time to engage. Meaning when you set the time and hack it to the atomic clock, and you set it, what happens is the second hand starts moving and the minute hand stays put. The minute hand doesn't start moving until about 11 to 15 seconds later, sometimes 10 seconds later, and it's going to be dependent on the placing of the gears. My and there's nothing they can do about the gear lash problems. So you can never accurately on. dead bang on. Hack Mine it. Is dead bang on. I'll FaceTime you. No, it's say. not. I dead, guarantee you. Dead Prove it. bang on. All right. Stop your watch at 12 o'clock. And hit the second hand, and we'll see when the minute hand moves. Well, I will do that, and I will video and show you. But I gotta tell you some one thing. I gotta tell you, and that is the only reason that anybody uses a chronograph anyway is out of some sense of horological guilt, because you got the stupid. Cup I'm not the talking about using the car chronograph. You, got the, you see, this is where you don't you listen. Got the cup, I, I'm talking about the main timekeeping functionality of the movement. My, this is the most important my, thing. Is timekeeping certified? It's Cosk certified. It's that's great, but when your seconds. second hand moves 10 seconds before your minute hand starts moving, that's a gear last problem. It's an internal flaw. And the reason why this watch does this, do you know why it does it? Because yes. what happened with, yes. they used to have a, a movement called the Valju 7, 725 and Valju 7, 730. When out. they added the automatic functionality to it and they added the is dead. anybody listening to don right now because like I, when they I added those two things to him movement, trying to be smart. that's when the gear last look, look, problem look at you see his apparent. eyes starting to like bounce back and forth he gets like all beady eyed when he starts talking about the the cam movement of the 7725 okay which led so to the what, let's flaw. let me put my uh, let me... major design flaw and it is the most important thing for people to understand about this movement when they went so to what the is, okay so what is it so i've gotten function. i've got my omega out i've got my uh speedmaster automatic 4.5 yeah so what, what should be doing i'll say it set it to zero you said now to what zero, should i be okay. looking at all right when when you when you set the time and you hack the seconds meaning stop the seconds and then change it to a different time and then start it running again the second hand and the 7750 isn't going to move for at least 10 seconds. That's a damn lie right there. That's a lie. You mean the second hand, not the chronograph second hand. Correct. The, the, okay. The second hand of the timekeeping. The most critically okay. important part. And it, and it drives me freaking bananas. It's completely crazy. You know why? He, this, this, Clive, he's had a lot of concussions. We got to take it easy on him. This is nothing to do with concussions. I've talked to watchmakers about it. Okay. He's higher so. than you. Uh, let me, so I'm stopping it at, so stop the chronograph and then I stop, then I pull out the, uh, 
then I should pull out the, pull out uh, the crown set the, to set the time and set the time to a different time. Doesn't matter what time he, he set it at. And then put the, I have. Uh, and then put the uh, push the, the crown back in and get it moving again. You're going to see the seconds move. And then while the seconds are moving, the minute hand isn't moving. And, but make sure you put the minute hand on a chapter ring so you know it's it's deadbeat on that that chapter ring. So it's easier for you to see if it's moving or not. No, it's not I, moving at all. Exactly. The fatal flaw has been proven. I don't bluff. That's why I never lost money playing poker. You start drooling when you have a good hand. Everybody knows your talent. So the minute hand, no. hold up. The minute hand should be the minute hand should be moving. Correct. Okay. And it takes All it right. takes on average between let's say eight to twelve seconds before it starts moving again, and it, and it varies according to where it's set in the watch and ten thousand other variables. I don't know. Okay. I think it's very, I, I think I, it's very uh, uh, Death super. He also, because he wants to sing, hear Don Haynes sing all by myself. I don't know the lyrics. Neither do I. Okay. Like, like Kumbaya, like, all by myself. All Why? By if myself. I hang up and come right back, can I use the same language? When I was all young, I never needed one. And making love was just for fun. Those days were gone. You don't know. You seriously don't know all by myself. Okay, shit, youngsters. I was born in the '80s, bro. I'm in a different time frame than you. I. They want to hear you sing the falsetto, the the refrain in falsetto. I don't know. Or in that. your case. Okay, never mind. Actually, he just sent twenty dollars. So I want to see if you just sing it, but okay, fine. Anyway, falsetto. Like a burrito? I don't know what that exactly. is. Exactly. So, any, okay, now here, here's, a, here's a question. Here's a question I was ha ha bringing up with you earlier. It's, it's actually a watch question. Yeah. No. What you got, baby? Okay. Now, now, someone else brought up to me on Fist that Rolex, or actually the Swiss watchmakers. Yeah are legally not required by the European Union. What happened is that the independent watchsmiths brought charges against, I mean, mm. not charges, but brought a lawsuit against mm. Rolex and Breitling and Omega and, and Cardi, uh, you know, in uh, Richmond and Swatch, basically accusing, I mean, accusing them of being anti-competitive for not supplying watch movements and watch parts to... Uh, independent watch manufacturer, I mean, independent watch mm -hmm. repair people. Mm. The European well, Union, back in October of last year, basically ruled that it's not anti-competitive because they have the right to control quality in the movements and the repair in their own <laughs> respective brands. You know, that's something the European twats would do. I hate that okay. culture. Oh, that would never fly in America. Well, no, it wouldn't, but, but See, no, Europeans, and like I said, no, Swatch, all right, let me tell you something Swatch about Europeans. Europeans. Swatch was poison. sued earlier. Swatch actually quit supplying movements, decided all at once, we're not going to supply out of ETA parts to out of parts, the third parties anymore. And they stopped that. And they said, well, that's anti-competitive. So at least now, for right now, I don't want to like, sound on the other hand, really biased or nothing, but I've been to uh, Switzerland and I've known some Swiss people in my life, and they're all cunty. And the the entire culture is, is is wrong. It's all it's all completely horrible the way they treat people, with their you know their feudal system that they developed for business, and their governments that became socialism basically. All right, where only the elite companies. Like Rolex can supply movements and Audemars Piguet and Patek Philippe because oh, they have to maintain the quality. <laughs> but you're saying you're saying they're feudal and socialist at the same time. Yeah, it's a combination. How can of someone both. be okay? Because they all have oh, a uh, monarchy where the king rules, 
and they're all socialists at the same time to pay homage to the puppet king and the elites running the society. There's only like five people with curly white hair controlling the world, and they're all in Switzerland controlling all the central banks in every single country, okay? Got news for you. And that's the way they are. So they let the companies get away with murder because of politics. They get bribed. They get lobbied. Politics is who gets what, how, when, and why. It's not about being fair to the consumer because they don't have the same consumer protection laws like they do here in the U.S. Right. You see, the U.S. was founded on free markets and democracy and being able to build a business. It's easier to build a business here in this country than any other place in the world for that reason. And that's one thing the Europeans will never get. And that's why I don't like Swiss watches a lot anymore, except a couple few hot horology pieces from high-end brands that I know how they're put together and screwed together correctly because they actually care about the customer. Okay. So Rolex no longer has to sell parts to independent watchmaker, independent watchsmiths. Yeah. They've actually lost people. a class action lawsuit in the U.S. and had to pay a $750 million fine or $750,000 fine. I apologize. Um, for doing that BS, like probably in the nineties or eighties or something. It was a while back. Who lost? Rolex lost. Uh, of course they lost. Yeah. Because in the U S there's more independent watchmakers that can fix Rolex than anywhere else in the world. So they weren't allowed not to supply parts. Correct. And Rolex <laughs> lost and they have to supply parts. Now in the US. They had to lose a lot. So you're saying they, so that's not a, that's not an issue over here now. No. In hmm. Europe, it's a different ball of wax. It depends on the market you're in. It depends on the country. This is my new fidget spinner. Nice. It's uh, okay. from Vortec. So, so there. Well, now actually, one of the reports I've been getting back lately is that Rolex has been requesting independents mail the tools back. Well, they can request all they want, but legally. If they want to get sued again, they're going to lose. And actually, the the local guy closest to me, uh, you know, Fulton's Watch Hospital, was telling me about that. And they said, well, the tools you're renting, we want them back. And his response is, no, I've had these tools since the 80s. I bought them. Kiss my big, fat, white ass. So you don't you don't think Rolex – well, no, especially, especially with the current administration in power – do you think there's a possibility that Rolex might be allowed to pull that or to do that in the United States again? No, they're not going to be able to. And if they do try to do that crap, they're going to get sued. And we're going to tell Rolex to suck it dry. Suck it dry, Rolex in the United States. Suck it dry. Okay. So there should not. Well, uh, tell okay. Rolex to suck it dry. They can't do it here. You lost your lawsuit. And so there's not only that, there's a precedent in court showing you how wrong you pricks are. You will supply us with your movement parts, dude. Sorry. Okay, uh, stick the camera up to your eyes again. Wow, it's like it's like total. I'm getting a total serial killer vibe off you right now. All right, so Trump won't allow that. Nice, uh, Steve. I'm going to read a couple of free questions. Don Stephen Miller wants to know how many. How many times have you been slapped in the face by a penis? By a penis? Never. You know why? I'm not gay. Okay. But all the men, never mind. All right. Uh, by the way, in case you'll notice, Archie is, he doesn't have the headphones on. He can't hear what he, we're saying. What do you think Archie is calling about? What, what phone call do you think Archie is making right now? He's having phone sex with a girl named. I was Kane. thinking. I was thinking he's ordering a lady boy or a pizza or or a pizza from a lady boy. No, he's talking to one of his like watch peeps, like you know, like some dude that he knows named like Bob, and Bob's going, hey, Archie, I, I got sent you like twenty five bucks. Can you tell me like if that's a go watch, if I should buy this watch or not? <clears throat> that's what he's doing. Blue wants to know, is a 2017 sub-date for 8200 bucks a good deal? Yes. New. Yes. Okay. Now, how, actually, how have, uh, how have used Rolexes, the this, this steel sports models, how have they been in your area? 
Because over here, there's Hi. hardly anything. Hi. There's none, and they're expensive. They're none, and they're expensive. Them, they're expensive, and there's not, they're few and far between. Like, seriously, I could get a Batman in like a month. Now I'm lucky if I, I have to wait like three months to get a Batman. And that's with my connections. I'm telling, I'm trying to see if Archie's trying to pay attention. It's going to, it takes me a year start. to get a Daytona with my connections. Okay, Don, real quick, while you're talking, start doing this to Archie as well. See if he pays attention. All hail the horned one. All hail the horned one. He's not paying attention, Clive. We've just lost control. We have totally lost control. Okay, I'd like to I'd like to thank everyone for joining my uh, last live stream chat on the Paul Paluta channel. <laughs> Oh, he's coming uh, back. Know, I, uh, well. Archie. Archie, who was on the phone, Archie? Uh, shit, this is the guy's Archie trying to weed. Yeah, look, I'm trying to sell. Uh, do you reckon that's... I'm th I've sold this. I told you I sold the Breitling, right? Right. Mm -hmm. The Scheitling. And then I want to buy the Grand Seiko. Okay. Don, what do you have to tell on. Archie about buying the Grand Seiko? I think that you have to have a full frontal lobotomy if you buy a watch that you cannot flip or sell easy. Is it like the whole idea of buying and selling watches? Listen, to to it's the watch boys. For profit. Mm. And you're, you're, you're playing with fire you don't know about, Archie. You're playing with a watch that you don't know about it. You don't know about the market for Grand Seiko. You don't know how niche it is. This is a very small market. It's thinner than Paddock, okay? Like it would be like if you bought a Beauvais or a Grubel 4C or you know, some kind like Voodoo or something, okay? This is not your wheelhouse. So, Archie. are you... It's not my wheel. I'm trying so to... Are you, it is not your wheel. Are you saying house, bovine Voodoo should not buy Beauvais? Yes, don't buy Beauvais unless you get big discount on Le Beauvais. Okay. So, it's just, just, is it just Archie or should no bo bovines buy Beauvais? No bovine should buy Beauvais. Yep. Ever. Okay. I kind of thought Don, and so like I said, so actually I was going to entitle this chat, uh, the super live chat, Imitations the Sincerest Form Flattery. And basically um, I was going to have Rudy come on and tell us a little field trip showing about his trip to Chesterfield showing us about the restaurant where he discovered Archie's all-you-can-eat Brazilian beef buffet. Then he was going to tell us that he just bought a fuck-off world time, even nicer than Archie's. But Rudy went to bed or is screwing somebody, and I got screwed. Thanks, Rudy. Meanwhile, I was going to say, and what, what happened to me? I just... How did I emulate Archie? I sat in my office. I took payment, so I got paid for nothing. And then I went to the grocery store and I bought some T-bones. Hmm. So I basic, so I got paid for nothing, and I uh, I spent money on a horned animal. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Unless that's pretty much. Then I didn't have a horn. Well, the um, yeah. Anyway. I also am kind of looking at a uh, my my vacuum cleaner is having this torrid love triangle with uh, Thomasina Covell. He was not on the live chat, of course, not on the live stream she's, comments because she's the only person in the world that frightens me. Well, apparently do you know, she, do you know she's attracted she... to my vacuum. Cleaner. Really? No, no, I don't know her really. I don't know her at all. I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet. My my real life is Oklahoma. I don't know anyone. True. Thank you. But Thomasina is not somebody to monkey with. Just the best thing to do is ignore her. Like, well, she was asking questions. She was asking questions about, I, I've seen on uh, LA Confidential, she, this uh, Rolex that uh, the, detective, that detective played by Guy Pierce was wearing. 
it was a distinctive one. So I actually got the screen grab and I sent to Uberoki and Uberoki's pocket jeweler. And actually, it turns out it's from the 40s. It's got the horned lugs on it. So it's the Rolex Archie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. The dial's not original, but is it? No, he, no, actually, my guy thinks it is. It's slightly damaged by time, but he thinks it is an original dial. Donnie, uh, if, I, if I don't buy a... Um, what about a spring drive? What do you think of that for about 2500 bucks? If it's 40 millimeters, then get it, but it's not going to be 2500 bucks. It's going to be closer to 2900 Get a spring drive for about the 2900 to 3500 No, 2900 to 3000 2900 to... It's 38 millimeter. Yeah. Uh, what a part don't you understand about don't buy anything under 40 millimeter. You're eliminating 90% of your customer base, you dumb fuck. Do you want to eliminate 90% of your potential customers? Super chat for Don. It's actually yep. a movement. All right. Don, what do you think about the JLC 938 movement? It's nice. Next question. What? It's a nice movement. Okay. Uh, Anything they should particular, do? I got to look it up real quick. Uh, JLC. Yeah. Look it up real quick. I don't know all the movements by the numbers for every company, by the way, because it's kind of lame. As soon as I see it, I'll know what it is, though. So let me just see here. Jigger the culture. That's our is only super chat we've had on this discussion, Clive. 938. All right. Here we go. It's an automatic, 43-hour power reserve. It's a nice movement. Oh, this is based off of their... Um, okay, this is that. All right. So this is the one that has a power reserve and a date and a sub-seconds hand. Um, you're better off, to be quite honest, I would. this is a nice watch. It's a beautifully made watch. It's well-made. But there are um, better movements you can get in this family. You're better off looking at either um, the regular Master Control Ultra Thin dress watches with the three hand movements that are going to be off the eight eight hundred series, um, because they're just more readily available. They're more design. They're more easy, I think, to get. Um, and also the date on these watches is kind of hard to read. Actual quick change at the uh, three o'clock position. Um, this is a really goofy watch to read, and I don't like the way they place the power reserve indicator on the dial. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but it looks like the poor, a poor man's chronograph movement. And I think you could do better in the JLC world. How's that? Is that a good analysis, Clive? I think that's an adequate analysis. Thank you. Okay. Guys, let's, wrap, right. let's wrap this live show. Let's show up here. It's been a disaster, Clive. Financially, this has oh, been uh, a By the way, wait, wait. One, one chant. Uh, actually, I was going to say, if someone sends a f super chat, I will say I will give them instructions on how to get a first fist after it's concluded. Yeah, unless you want to keep going, Clive, I got to end it. I got to go and do some things. Unless you want to keep talking, or how do you no, feel? No, no, no. That's all right. That's all right. We can go ahead and end it. That's Donnie, fine. thank you so much for your time. And uh, I, I, I was Donnie gone. <laughs> I said thank you so much. I was gonna. All right. I'd like to welcome. I'd like to thank everyone for showing up yeah. to my last super chat on Archie Luxury. I'm Fuck. being in a. Get fired after this, so fuck awesome. me dead. That was terrible. Don was giving cooking lessons. Fuck me dead. I don't know what was fucking worse. And he was talking about hunting for bones. I'm like, where the fuck is Mark Goldberg? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I know. Like, it's just what in Mark you think Mark would have been like doing something like you know, we, we're gonna be Mark careful when we bring Donnie on. I mean, sometimes he can be poison, you know. In small doses, he's quite good. Right. So, Clyde, did, right. I, did I tell you what's happened? I have sold my Breitling, the Scheitling. You, the Scheitling, good. Cha, 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 and I told you I bought another one, didn't I? Cha, cha, cha. No, you. Uh, yes, you did. You bought another Scheitling? Yes. You bought one with the black dial? Yes. You bought the one that you wanted to buy in the first place? 
Yeah, I made a little bit of money, but... Oh, uh, Ving Tinye, $2. He's gone. He's gone. Okay, everyone, super everyone, super chat $5, or we're going to bring Donnie back. You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? Do you think... You, Clive, do you reckon for my ratings... Do you reckon if I got a fucking Grand Seiko that would help or not? What do you think? I'm just being honest. Tell me the truth. What do you think? Um, I'm just thinking, well, actually, I just, I think if you reviewed watches, I, it doesn't really matter. Okay. We've talked about this, but I'll just say it out loud. Doug DeMuro is your path to success. Mm. If you follow Doug DeMuro's, I mean, basically, you watched him. So you know the format. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, he, he talks about it in detail. I, and I love Doug DeMuro. He's mm. interesting. He's a, he's a car nerd. He brings oh, a he Yeah. Oh, but by, by the way, actually, Max Levinson has talked to Doug DeMuro. Is that right? Yeah, and he said he's actually a great guy. Mm. Actually, I didn't want to helpful advice and have a start on his channel. So, but it kind of makes sense because when I was telling him, it's just like the, I mean, actually Max's, it, it almost has like a Doug ish, a Doug like quality to it. Mm -hmm. Go into detail about it. Uh, and then, and, and then, uh, then go into the, uh, a risk. Of, I think you could come up with a fist score. Instead, you know, or, I'd say risk score or fist score and rate the watches individually. Don Haynes has texted me saying it's hard to be funny if I keep getting interrupted by a super chat. Well, okay, wait a minute. It's hard to get a rhythm going. Don, so, Don, Don is like George Costanza without the likability. What is your excuse for the second one? Uh, okay. So anyway, so all you'd have, I mean, like I said, we even talked about different aspects of the watch, like comprehensive review. I mean, I think if you did that, now you started going there with the TSO, believe it or not. Uh, I better wrap this up, Clive. Chat to you later, my friend. Thank you so much. Fist, uh, oh, fist what, to you. What, what does FIST stand for? You tell me, Clive. I can't remember. My brain has gone to scramble. Luta Horological Institute, Institute of Swiss, of Swiss time. time Pieces. Thank you. You need to claim, you need to claim fist. Thank fist you. Has fist, fist, fist. Thank you.